for those of you who are accustomed to my YouTube channel, we talk, guys, about, you know, games from the perspective of if it's a triple A title that's going to be coming out, we love having a full package. That being like a full campaign, co-op modes, and multiplayer modes. And obviously, guys, the Callisto Protocol at this point has been dubbed a single-player story. But that doesn't really give us the, you know... Uh, thought that, hey, maybe at some point down the road, could they add multiplayer? Could they add co-op modes at some point or another? Obviously, I think that the folks over at Striking Distance are looking at what did we do right, wrong, and what could we do different moving forward with what happened to the Dead Space series. And so with that being said, could multiplayer be added later? Whether we're talking co-op, whether we're talking multiplayer from a PvP perspective. Let's talk about it. So guys, in an article coming to us from Joseph Fonseca of Screen Ramp, the Callisto Protocol won't include co-op. Here's why Striking Distance Studio is focusing on a single-player survival horror experience. So, the Callisto Protocol's connection with Dead Space brought up an important question. Will the Callisto Protocol include a co-op mode set on Jupiter's moon of Callisto? The Callisto Protocol sees players attempting to escape from the claustrophobic Black Iron Prison. Though there's only a tiny cinematic trailer and a brief mention of the Callisto Protocol's connection to PUBG for fans to work with, the Callisto Protocol's reveal spurred speculation about how Striking Distance Studio would handle development in this difficult, uh, difficult genre. So, the key to the speculation comes from the fact that the Callisto Protocol's development team contains a number of industry veterans who worked on Dead Space and its sequels. The Dead Space series has had a mixed reaction from fans given the dramatic shift in gameplay between entries. Though the amount of easter eggs relating to Dead Space scattered throughout the Callisto Protocol's trailer cemented the connection between the two games, players were left wondering how exactly the game would emulate the series and which entry would be the focus. Well... The Callisto Protocol's relationship with Dead Space was a major topic of uh, the brief Q&A hosted by Striking Distance Studio on their Discord channel on December 17th. While answering a question about the potential for a cooperative experience, developer Glenn Schofield was firm in his assertion that there would be no co-op mode in the Callisto Protocol. Striking Distance Studio's main aim will remain a single-player experience, a decision that will either delight or dismay fans of the Dead Space series, which included entries that focus on single-player like the original, and entries that focus on cooperative gameplay like Dead Space 3. So, it's kind of like a double-edged sword here, guys. So, obviously, um, you know, Dead Space was victim to uh, this being an issue, right? You had Dead Space 1, transcended the horror space as we know it in my personal opinion then dead space 2 took it another level which i thought they even won up themselves um in dead space 2 from a horror perspective and all that from a story perspective game more lore things of that nature and then we had dead space 3 um and obviously dead space 1 and 2 being a primary you know single player experience and then we go to dead space 3 dead space 3 to me guys was definitely a step in the wrong direction from not so much a co-op perspective, but they changed what made Dead Space so great in the first place. They kind of chased a trend instead of kind of staying true to what Dead Space was all about. That claustrophobic, gritty kind of tension that we saw in Dead Space 1 and 2 kind of left in Dead Space 3. It kind of went from being what was a horror game with action elements to a action game with some horror elements to it. And having that co-op was just kind of the icing on the cake, which really um, obviously cemented this as more of an action game with some horror elements. You could play with your friends, but I felt like it was they were kind of behind the curb on this. So let's talk about the Callisto Protocol now. I think what they could have learned from that was, hey, look, this is a single player experience. You can play it cooperatively, like with a friend or whatever the case may be, or maybe you do a single player campaign and then the co-op modes come in the form of something like Horde Mode from Gears of War, where you and your friends can go up against waves and waves of enemies. I always thought Dead Space would be awesome if you could go up against waves and waves of enemies with your friends and upgrade your armor and things. They had a great upgrade system in the single player story for Dead Space. I thought it would be awesome to go up against waves and waves of necromorphs and bosses and things of that nature and do it along with your friends. 
not taking away from that single player story. Co-op to me is great guys because it gives you more reasons to play the game with your friends. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be the campaign. But having ways to play with your friends, whether you're talking from a PvE perspective or even a PvP perspective, going up against other people across the world, maybe you have something like beast mode, which where you had, you know, obviously your some people across the globe would play as the Necromorph, say, and then you would be playing as Isaac Clark and, and things of that nature, and you're going up against them and you're upgrading your armor, and there's just more ways, let's just put it that way. To connect with this franchise. More reasons to come back to the franchise over and over again. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. To me though, the Callisto Protocol going in this direction, where they want to focus primarily on a single-player story and experience, to me it's still, you know, obviously it really comes down to, I mean, if you're putting all your eggs in the single-player experience, it's got to be knocked out of the park in a major way. Could this be something that gets added later on is another question though. Um, that we're going to have to ask ourselves. The reasoning behind the Callisto Protocol's focus on creating a single-player experience makes a lot of sense. As Glenn Schofield himself put in uh, put it during the Q&A, fear is about isolation, atmosphere, and mood. Cooperative experiences tend to lessen the tension in each of these key aspects of survival horror. Most survival horror games that are universally respected for their scares like the classic Silent Hill and games like it, focus on isolating players from potential help and forcing them to deal with the fear themselves. And I 100% agree with this, guys, but I think that you could add other modes outside of the single-player experience where you're not necessarily playing the campaign with somebody else, but having options, right? Playing against waves and waves of enemies with your friends as a different mode, like Horde mode from Gears of War. What makes Gears of War so special, guys, is you've got that single player experience, you've got that co op experience, and you got that multiplayer experience. It brings you back to the experience over and over and over again. And so, while I do agree with this, I don't think that you have to do co op in this from a campaign perspective. Do it in a different perspective. Could that be something added later on? I definitely hope so. So, while some may be disappointed to find the Callisto Protocol won't offer a cooperative gameplay mode, the majority of survival horror fans should be pleased to know the veterans behind the original Dead Space have made it clear they want to provide a similarly terrifying experience. The only thing left to do is wait and perhaps replay Dead Space in anticipation. And so, I agree guys, I mean look, at the end of the day, I'm very, this is one of if my, my most anticipated game of the future, right? along with the Quantum Air, as well as uh, Gear 6. But I will say that could it be something that's added later on? I do believe it is, or it could be, and it really comes down to us as the community, right? Once this game comes out, look, I'm down with them just wait, you know, focusing 100% on the single-player experience. Make it incredible. Once the game comes out, after we play it a couple of times, then it's up to us voicing our opinion and telling the developers, hey, look, Glenn, hey, Striking Distance, hey, Crafton, let's add some more modes here. Don't take anything away from that single-player experience. Like, make it as unnerving, as terrifying as possible. Us playing it by ourselves. But create some more modes. You know, create a mode where I can play with my friends, where we're going up against waves and waves of these, like, unnerving creatures, these bosses, things of that nature. Even if it's in tight corridors or different maps. Make it where I can play against other people, guys, across the world, right? PUBG is obviously a, a multiplayer experience that's incredible. And, you know, maybe they think, you know, you can go do that multiplayer experience with PUBG. But I think having it, guys, we don't get this much in horror games at this point. You don't have a lot of ways to connect with a lot of horror titles outside of games like Gears of War. Um, you know, which really is more of an action game that has horror elements to it than a sheer horror, you know, terrifying experience, right? So I think it's important that more games kind of have ways like Years of War to connect with the experience outside of just the single player experience. But that being said, guys, I'd love to have your guys' take on this and I'd love to hear your thoughts about this in the comment section down below. Do you think multiplayer or co-op modes will be added later on? What do you think it's going to take for that to happen in the Callisto Protocol? Let me know in the comment section down below. And for more of the Callisto Protocol content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.